So I don't know whether Senator Achute would want to do the same. Or you want to give your questions and then you wait for answers. Yes, I will ask questions and wait for answers. Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Chair. You know, I'm surprised and shocked. And I think the CS president here, because today it was the CS then, I know and believe, wouldn't have agreed to this uh, concept. I want to, I come from a nomadic community. And in the nomadic community where you also come from, you cannot bring a goat. We normally do what a trade. You cannot come with a goat and expect the other person to give you a camel. Once that happens, you will just say, no, I will not even talk to you. And I want to tell you today, Honorable yes. the deal initially, when they proposed, they proposed to invest $1.8 billion. And that is 234 billion shillings. Honorable CS, the land and property value today is at 1.1 trillion shillings. What Adani wants after 30 years is 18%. So that means they are taking land plus properties on those land for about 18% which is what they need to invest in the And I don't, I want to, I mean, even, I don't understand. Why are you even negotiating? Because after 30 years, after making a lot of profits, they want 18% of our land and our property. Paragos, yes. Ethiopia. Ethiopia, they are building a new airport. This airport is costing six billion US dollars, and it will accommodate hundred million passengers. It is forty kilometers away from the Zorba place called the shops. So I want to ask you, Francis, <coughs> kindly, why don't you cancel this thing? Because things to the core. I give you an example. And I want you to do this mathematics. Adani comes from India and then gets 18% of our property, of our land, and everything we, we possess and take it to India. Why should you accept this? Tell us. Why do you even negotiate? That's my question. Number two. There is a report by Heidelberg Research Institute that says Adani is a con. And if I, want, I don't want to list it down. Is about 20 issues. It talks about Adani itself and it talks about relatives, almost eight of them, how they con people, how they con even taxes on taxes. So, on uh, the I don't mind these people investing here, but my question is why did you even decide, the government decides to even negotiate with them? Because the initial program, if I look at what they've they given, you just tell them, sorry, come up with something good or better. Because you've already invested, you are sending people to India, you are sending people all over. Uh, so tell us why. Uh, the other last issue, on the CS. Yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, let me finish the last one, and then you will be able to respond. Please kindly. Uh, yes. Call the president, talk to him, advise him, tell him this deal. Kenyans don't want this deal. This is a fraud, and it's a fraud just like Goldenberg, and it's a fraud, Anglo leasing, and a fraud like the cooking oil. 
he has edible oil that is being now dealt with. So, uh, for the love of this country, please advise the president. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, the chair, I think uh, it's unfortunate because uh, Honorable Chute's uh, uh, submission is based on wrong information that Adani is requested for 18% residual after three years. That is, uh, that is not true. There is no request for 18% residual equity ownership of the airport after three years. It, reverts to the government of Kenya 100% and I'm on oath honorable duty through the chair. Uh, there is no 18% residual. We can come back again and again because like I said it's a negotiation process but there is no 18%. The 18% which could have been kind of carried is in the initial proposal they did ask for 18% return on equity, the 30% equity uh, they are putting in. and. We, I think today we've negotiated we are at 16%. 16% return on the 30% uh, equity investment. There is no 18% residual um, equity ownership of the airport after 30 years. Uh, that is the straight answer. Thank you. Okay. Um